So what is a plyometric? It's a rapid lengthening and contraction of the muscles. Normally, I would do pull-ups more slow, controlled, feel the muscles and contracting them, squeezing them. But here, I'm just going for power. I'm trying to release my hands on the bar, get my head above the bar as high as possible to get power in the lats. You see, I'm using speed as an advantage. Instead of doing one at a time, I'm now doing continuous in a row. The ability to stop myself on the down phase and transfer right back up to the up phase is actually the hardest part and ensure safety because it's easy to slip off this bar. I'm changing grips here just to get a little more arms in a different part of my lats. I have less room to grab inside here, so it's even more dangerous. This one's more dangerous than the last one because I'm reaching for the ceiling with two hands. And then I try to do it with one hand, which I'm actually able to touch the ceiling with one hand. But it makes it harder to catch the bar. So be very careful doing this one. I don't recommend it for most people. Now for pushing, get power of the chest. You can just get your hands off the ground, release. To make it more difficult, I reach forward like Superman here. You can do one at a time just to make sure you can catch yourself. So the hardest part is catching yourself. So you don't face plant, hit your chest on the ground. Make sure you keep your head up just a little bit. It's not a big deal if your chest lands on the carpet or the gym floor. Now this is more like an airplane. I'm throwing my arms back and a little bit of back muscles as well. But I didn't like what I did with my hips. I pushed my hips up first. Which is still okay. I'm getting some power. But it's not all transferring to my chest and shoulders. Which is what I was trying to do. So I fixed it by pushing my hips more forward. Getting my core tight. I'm not getting as high. My arms don't go back as far. But it's more isolated in the power of the upper body, which is really the goal of the workout. You can use an object like a step to one at a time against to make sure you can grab onto it. It's more core by me grabbing on here, my shoulders and my core, like doing an ab wheel with power. Then go continuously in a row for more quickness and plyometric speed. You can stagger like this. Just make sure you can do the push-up first and then add a little power. Get a little air between your hands and the ground. Do about, you know, three on the other side. And then you can start alternating and switching. It's just going to give more power and more speed. It's like Spider-Man basically climbing a wall. You can rotate, go back and forth, get a little more core, coordination. You see here, everything's coordinating together. I'm now adding my core, my feet, my shoulders all together. The higher you go on an object, the more power and the more dangerous it is. So I'm using the bench here. You can easily slip and hit your face on something, so be careful. Make sure you can do the other ones first before you get too confident. The higher the bench or the higher the box or object, the harder it is that you're falling, so it takes more strength in the landing phase. Now you can use a medicine ball or a slam ball. What's the difference? Well, the medicine ball bounces, so you're able to catch it just like that. So this is more power, not as much plyometric because it's not really that continuous. You can use your shoulders by throwing it up and down. If you have a wall, you can throw it against the wall. Add your legs in. So that's more of a total body thing. Or get some shoulders, lats, cores like this. So I'm adding my core in by doing like a crunch. That's core power. And then you add the elbows in by getting more triceps. See, it bounces more continuous, so you'll get more of a plyometric with the medicine ball than the slam ball. You see here, the slam ball doesn't bounce. But if the arms are in front the whole time, then you're not going to get a lot of lats. So what you want to do is bring your arms behind your body, get extension. Now, if I add the triceps in, it's the same exact thing. Get your shoulders back.